Welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV, the live TV show all about the legal aspects of your business to help educate you on complex legal terms in an easy to understand manner, to help understand why you need to do certain things in your business from a legal point of view, and to help you develop a plan for the future. Our mission at Business Legal Lifecycle is to help empower all small to medium sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Hi everyone and welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV. My name is Jeremy Stratton. I'm one of the founders of the Business Legal Lifecycle and I wanted to do a special show today about vision building. So, you know, this is something that I'm very passionate about and that uh, is really important for any business in anything that you're going to do moving forward. So today, uh, you know, is going to be a really, really practical episode. And I'd like you to really spend some time, download the workbook. So if you go to businesslegallifecycle.com, dot au slash 177 you'll get a copy of our show notes and on that page is a workbook that we've put together uh, for doing this and this is a, so this is a really practical episode it's something that i really want you to sit down and spend some time doing building your vision you know we're in february 2019 and if you if, it, if this is something you haven't done yet then you need to really get involved in this as quickly as possible so what is a vision a vision is really a guide of where you're going for the future. It's where you've determined that you want to take your business. There are many ways to be right with building a vision. There are many ways that you can do it. Half the battle is actually getting something down on paper. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never know how you're going to get there. Now, uh, one of the interesting facts about the space shuttle on its trip to the moon is the fact that it was only on track for 3% of the time. So that means that the rest of the time, it was all going off in different directions. But for, th for th that 3% of the time was enough to keep it going and getting it to its goal, which was to get to the moon. But the, And the lesson to, behind that is the fact that they knew where they were going. The astronauts knew where they were going. The team on the ground knew where they were going. And they knew that they had to get there. And so they built what they had to do to do that. And then they adjusted along the way. So that's the same as in business. You need to recognize that in business, you're going to need to build something in your business for where you're going. If you're not going forwards, you're going backwards. And so you've got to build that vision going forwards. And so th as I said, this is something that's really, really practical. This is different to a business plan. A business plan is that document that you, you probably did when you started your business or you might've done when you needed to get funding. And you, it essentially sits there in the second drawer of your, um, <laughs> in your desk and you never actually look at it because that's where everything goes to die in your, in your second drawer. Your, uh, so stuff in your first drawer goes, your stuff that you're going to use every day. Your third drawer is usually your important documents. Your second drawer is where documents go die and that's where a business plan goes. This is, a, is usually a very short document. You know, it's only a few pages long. You'll see that from the workbook. Uh, ultimately, it'd be good to distill it down into one page and have your one year goals on one page so that there is one place that you go to and that you can refer to all the time. The other thing about a vision and a purpose and building a vision for where you're going in, in your business is that it, it the idea of having a vision sets forward what you need to do and where you're going. So it sets forward where you're going and all your decisions, every single decision that you make in your business should be directed at how you're going to achieve that goal. It gives you that, that impetus to know what to do and to know what you're doing is the right thing to do. So vision building is really important. It's something that you should review at least annually and ideally you should do it in November, December. Uh, I do it every November at a retreat with my business mentor uh, and it's something that you should do on a regular basis. So the process is really straightforward. There's many different processes and I'm gonna keep it nice and simple for you today. The first thing is to set out a three-year goal. Anything more than that and you're kidding yourself. Everything changes in business every year all the time. So make sure that you're only setting yourself at most of the three-year goal. You can have a 10-year grand vision of where you wanna go. If you've got that, excellent, uh, but you don't need it for this process. For this process, we need to just set three-year goals. And then we're also gonna set a one-year goal for your vision. There's more work to be done on then chunking down how you're gonna achieve that one-year goal into three or four-month sprints. But that's not the purpose of today's show. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. As I said at the beginning, in case you missed it, go to businesslegallifecycle.com.au slash 177. That will give you the show notes for this show. It will also give you uh, a workbook that we've put together for this very purpose. And you'll see in there that it's split into three and one year goals. And there are uh, a number of different 
uh, aspects of your business that you need to think about. There are six different ones that we're gonna go through. So I want you to have a think about that. Use the workbook, do it for three years and then break it down to one year and what you think you can achieve in one year to then get forward to your three years. So the first thing is to think about what income that you wanna generate in three years time. So if you've done any of the exercises on what your ideal lifestyle is, now's the time to pull that out. Yeah, it, it's, and if you haven't done that exercise, then um, have a look at building an ideal lifestyle. Um, I'll do another show on that and um, that's something that you need to think about. It is very rare that your ideal lifestyle is gonna require a million dollars or some figure like that. Normally people's ideal lifestyle is gonna fall somewhere between the two to $400,000 range. And that's $400,000 is a really good lifestyle and it's a really big lifestyle. So uh, have a think about what your income is. Think about what you need uh, for that to generate that income. So you know, your, your net profit is usually somewhere between 25 and 33% um, of what you actually need. So if, you're, if you need 200,000, then have a think and have a look at your numbers for your business, pause this recording and go back and have a look at your numbers. What was your, what was your net profit? What did you take away from the business last year? And then work back from that, well, what income do you need to be able to generate the profit? Please don't do a million dollars. Uh, please you know, think about what that actually is. Once you've done that, then you'll know what income you need to achieve in three years. Compare whether it is now. Do, and, and so run through this exercise for the three years and, and compare where it is now and think about, okay, well, what am I gonna to need to do to achieve that? And you know, just keep that in the back of your mind. The next thing to think about, are what products are you selling now? What, are you, what, what, what What's your actual business? You know, what products are you selling? What clients have you got? What are those products? What is your ideal client now? What's your ideal client in the future? Often, when people do this exercise, they realize that their ideal client now can't get them to their future income goals in three years. So have a think about that. Be really discerning on what your clients and products are and what you can actually get. And have a think about what other products you might wanna have. Again, please start this off as a three-year process. Next, I want you to think about, well, what you know, you know your income goals, you know what products you need to have, what team do you need to have in your business to, to achieve those goals? You know, what, what, how many people need to come into those goals? Remembering, of course, that you know, to generate more income, often you'll need a bigger team. Then with that comes different challenges, but you'll need a bigger team. So have a think about that. Is it 10 employees? Is it a team of 50? Have a think about what your team is and what that actually looks like. And then you, I want you to also think about, well, how does that fit into my income goals? my business income goals uh, and yeah, that, that, that will help tell you what that, you know, what, what that profit is uh, so that you can make sure that you can achieve those goals. The next thing to think about is the time. So this is the time that you're going to spend in your business and on your business. If you're not spending at least four hours a week for, on, on your business, and, it, and that's, that's a minimum standard that you need to, to achieve. If you're not doing that, then you, know, you need to start blocking out your time and go back to my previous show on time uh, blocking, which was 169, uh, which was all about when to block out your time and how to actually you know, build your time and to utilize your time properly. Uh, if you're not spending four hours a week on your business, then just go to that show and do it right now. Think about what time you wanna spend in your business, what time you wanna spend on your business and write that down. You know, is it that you wanna start spending you know, so much time on on your business in genius time. You know, what, what, are your, what are your time, what is the time that you wanna spend? From there then you wanna think about your promotions. So again, this is in three years time. What kind of promotions do you wanna to have to be able to build in more business for, your, for, your, for you and your business? To achieve your income goals in three years time, to have the team that you want, what promotions are you gonna to wanna to put in place? And we'll talk about more, more of that later, but think about those promotions and what you need to put in place. And the last thing I want you to think about is your legacy. And I want you to think about your legacy in three years time. What, do you, what are you building this thing for? What's your legacy that you wanna leave your kids, your family, your, your, your business partners? What, what is that legacy that you wanna leave? Is it, you know, is it mastery of time? Is it mastery of, with the flow of your time? Is it that you wanna give back to your community? Have, think, have a think about that. So once you've done that for three years, then I want you to go back through, go back and, and in the workbook, I want you to go back to the income. And I want you to have a look at, if I'm gonna achieve that in three years' time, what do I have to do in the next 12 months? Really think about that really carefully. What income do I need in one year? Remembering that normally things go exponentially, so going the other way, um, exponentially. 
uh, the, remember that you don't have to, if, you, if your goal is to turn over $3 million in three years time, and you're currently at $500,000, you don't have to, you know, to go a third of that difference in a year and a th- another third of that difference in two years. It's gonna be exponential. It's going to go, it's going to go exponentially. Uh, and so you wanna make sure that you're actually you know, factoring that in. So the same thing with products. What products do you have now? What products should you have in the future in the next 12 months to be able to help you achieve those income goals? So think about that and write those down. Please feel free, if you haven't done this by now, to pause this recording. Yeah, this recording is not going anywhere. It's going to be available on Apple Podcasts. It's going to be available on your phone. It's going to be available on, on if you're watching the video on um, YouTube or wherever else you're getting our content from. You can pause this and write down the products. Really think about this, this proactively. Then think about your team. Where's your team today? Where, where, does it want to, where, where do you want to be in 12 months? Look at your three-year goal and then work backwards to, well, what, what is that team that you want in three years so, so, so you can have that exponential growth? And write that down for a year and work out what you need. There's many great tools to do on this, um, but yeah, write down that team. Next is your time. What, what time do you need to invest right now to be able to, to build your, your, your team going forward and your, your business going forward? Sorry, not, not your team, your, your business going forward. What, what, what period of time do you need to spend in your business, on your business, and on other parts of your business to be able to do that now? Remember that if you're not spending four hours right now, you need to make sure that you, sp- you start spending it now and increase that over time. It- it's the only way to build your business. If you're spending the time in your business, working in your business, you are not on your on- spending time on your business. So spend that time. So write that down, what- where you want to be in a year. Again, think about your, your promotions. Think about the promotions that you're, g- you're going to have for your business uh, to be able to achieve the income goals that you want. And if you're not sure about it, put something down, test and measure it. And then last of all, I want you to think about what your legacy is in a year's time. So what is that legacy that you want to have in a year's time? Uh, and, and how are you going to go about um, building that going forward? So look, this is a, a short episode. I, um, it's not as quick as a Fast Fix Monday. Please go grab the workbook, work on this, this, uh, these tasks, work on this, this project of building your, your vision. I'd really encourage you to then email it to me, lifecycle at jeremystretton.com. If you are looking at the show right now, it's on the bottom of the screen. If you're listening to the podcast, uh, please uh, go to Lifecycle, so L-I-F-E-C-Y-C-L-E at Jeremy Stretton, so J-E-R-E-M-Y-S-T-R-E-T-E-N.com. Send it to me. If you send it to me, I'll promise to come back to you and tell you my thoughts on your on your vision statement and to uh, you know, give you some guidance going forward because at the end of the day, we're here to help you we want to give you practicals to actually go away and actually use it in your business. So please go through that workbook, send it to me. I'm happy to give you feedback. Uh, and then we can look at other ways that we might be able to work forward and to actually help you to achieve that vision for your business. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name is Jeremy Stratton. I'll be back on Monday with Craig for Fast Fix Monday. Uh, and next week, we've got a really exciting interview with a uh, uh, financial planner uh, about investing in property. This is on, um, that's something that I'm really keen on and really interested in. So have a look at that and join us back on Monday. So I'm Jeremy Stratton and I'll see you then. Hi everyone.